Hi, welcome to my new video here, and um, this is another video for Traction 3, and I'm going to show you how to make a loop, a MIDI loop. So here we have Traction 3 set up, and I have my keyboard attached, connected. Uh, it's a USB keyboard, and um, I have pads on my keyboard, which I can uh, hit with my finger, and then they can trigger an instrument and um, for recording MIDI one thing you should know is uh, latency so we'll go into uh, this is my menu for my sound card and 256 buffer size or 6 milliseconds seems to be work really good for the buffer size for latency so that way you get no delay and you can sort of experiment with your system to find the best latency so first of all I'll go to the new filter and I'll drag that down to a, an empty track and we'll select an instrument um, I'll select um, City Monster and City Monster is a free instrument it's uh, it sounds like a Coleco so the sounds of the old ColecoVision, kind of. It's got kind of that uh, old school electronic sound. So we'll go and we'll go into track one. Now here we have to add that our keyboard, so we'll choose, choose the keyboard and then we hit the R to get it enabled. And that way now when I hit the keyboard you'll hear it. And you can hear the city monster there. And I uh, should have the trigger pads enabled too. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the keyboard pads. Okay, there's the keyboard pads. Okay, and uh, so now on our track, we're going to select the track and it'll turn red when you selected it and we'll go down and we'll uh, go down to insert new clip and insert MIDI clip. So there's our MIDI clip. We double click on it and it uh, expands. Now what we want to do is we'll hit the loop button here and you also want to make sure this E to E button is connect is clicked on too. And uh, oops, so we'll just uh, erase that. Okay, so let's see what we can do here now. Okay, I'm looking for the loops. Okay, well maybe they're at the beginning. Okay, there's the loop. So I'll bring the MIDI clip all the way to the beginning. And here's our loop. This little yellow line here, if we drag it, that's where we loop. So um, you want to put it at the beginning of the clip and at the end of the clip, and then it'll loop. As long as we have the loop selected here. So we have our tempo, you click on the tempo, then you'll see it, and there's a little slider here where you can change the tempo. And um, we also have a click track, so here's a click track. And this setup where you have um, something like Traction 3 and a really good decent keyboard with uh, drum pads. I think this is, if you're thinking of buying like a hardware drum machine, uh, this is a good uh, alternative solution because I had to decide whether I wanted to buy a drum machine or sequence my drums and I kind of decided to try this way because I thought the technology is going this way. So 
Uh, it doesn't really limit me because in the future I can still input a drum machine, but I thought that I could give this a try before I spend money on a drum machine and um, just try to deal with this new technological advances. But the key, the key, the key, the key to doing a really good sequence um, is latency. If you can get the latency with your MIDI card or your, your music card and your keyboard and your uh, thing, if you can get that latent latency to zero, um, then you're going to have success, I think. So that's the key in your in your setup. So now we're sitting in the city monster, and I'll show you a few other sounds in city monster. Okay, there's patch two. Okay, that makes a nice bass sound. There's sort of another. There's another sound too. That's a good bass sound. Okay, so maybe we'll use that sound. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to record it. So um, the click track is on, I believe. So you can turn the click track on, that way you'll hear the beats. So you can play it and you should hear it. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's on now. So you can just pretend. Okay, and then when you can hit record, Okay, and then you can, sometimes you won't see it there, you can see the notes now, you have to just kind of slide the keyboard up to see the notes sometimes. So there it is, there's my jumble of notes. And we can select it, and then we can quantize it, uh, start times at nearest half beat, that usually is good, and then we can uh, note lengths, uh, you can make them all equal, so equalize all the note lengths, and we'll listen to that now. Okay, now I think this whole MIDI track is too long, personally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut half of it out here. So we'll delete that. So now it's smaller. Now there's our notes, and I'm going to see if I can move those over. So I'll move those over right here. And what I'll do is I'll drag this to make it smaller. There, so that looks like it's four bars. Drag the loop marker. Okay, now let's listen. Okay, now let's look at the velocity. Now let's even up the velocity now. So we go to the pencil tool and we just draw it across there and that evens all the velocities out. Okay, and hit velocity again.
Okay, and then we can add an effect down to the city monster, so uh, we'll add a Z3TFX, Z3TA plus FX, so let's listen. Turn the click track off. Okay, so let's record it again. See what that did. Okay. Okay, and Bring it down. It's the same as the ones. Okay, so that's our first loop. And go down and we can do a quick second loop I guess see if we can do that so we'll just bring new instrument down and again we have to select the track and insert MIDI clip and then double click it to expand it and you can scroll up scroll down to see the whole track and we'll record a new loop so let's see what sound we have let's bring the volume up let's choose a new sound here Turn on the click track. Let's record. Okay, so that's our second loop. And let's listen. Let's take the turn off the click track again. And let's hear the whole loop. Okay, now let's add another effect to this loop as well. So we will add HG sounds Stralis effects and we'll see how it sounds okay so that's my basic tutorial um, once we select the loop here, we can repeat it as well. Um, like it says, loop this clip, and then we can loop it uh, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, or 32 times.
So I'll just loop it four times just to show you. Boom, there's four loops all created. So we'll just undo that. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, I mean, this is just a simple uh, video showing you how to make sequences in Mackie. Um, but it's another way uh, of doing things instead of you're thinking of instead of doing it another way instead of buying a drum machine, say. So other than that, it's pretty much up to your creativity and you can create uh, full tracks with this. All right, thanks for watching.